This is the Ill Out Show, and we are definitely taking this trip down memory lane. Uh, and we have caught up with two of the people I ain't seen in a long time. Uh, what's going on, Kido and Super Producer Da Vinci? What's going on, guys? Yo, yeah, bro. bro. You're right. How you been, yeah, man? man? Good. Great. Yeah. Great. Good, man. Da Vinci, I ain't seen you in a minute. Where you been hiding, bro? Yeah, I don't hide. I just live in the studio. I'm, I'm the true studio rat, bro. Really? Yeah. All day, every day? Yeah, most days. Yeah. Most days. I've gotten out a lot in my, in my later years, because I'm an old man now, but... I've gotten out a lot in my later years and done some other things. I manage a lot now. I do some other things. Um, uh, label as well. I've got my own label and stuff, but still studio mainly because that's the priority, right? All right? Now, the thing is, like, you are responsible for so many channel you hits. Like, let's flex on them quickly. <laughs> like, like, no, no, I don't want to, I don't want to modest Da Vinci. Like, let's flex on them quickly. Let's start P's and Q's. Hey, you got to help me, please. Right, P's and Q's. I won't get it right. P's and Q's. Yeah. Uh, tears. Yeah. Um, come on, help. Uh, 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 street Poly. Um, uh, uh, street Politics. Okay, I'll yeah, I'll ride. Street Politics. Um, Tinchy Strider. Tinchy Strider. Something about your something smile. Something about your smile. Tears, breathe. Um, Bear tears, with Tears for Tiny. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. You have a man for doctor. There, there you go. I've got a man. Yeah, <laughs> doctor. I don't know. A lot, a lot, a lot. Bear rhythms. I, I always wanted to ask you this. Like, I, I find, I felt like you helped a lot of those artists in their early days come to prominence, especially with this channel. Like, and some of them got, like, success off the back of the big the tunes that you gave them. But then we never heard you work with them again. We never heard you after the second album. Why, why do you think that was? I feel like we're in a music... I feel like th there will be a few things, a few layers to that, but we're in a music business first, and artists don't necessarily make their own decisions all the way through. So, um, and I think when labels are putting money into it and it's a music business, labels are going to go with producers that they have tried and tested and are true and they know they can make hits out of, which is why artists always may end up making commercially viable songs. I feel like the grime stuff was always a good balance of commercially viable and grime. But if a label who isn't really a long-term grime lover and, and label owners who aren't long-term grime lovers are making decisions about what's being put out, they can't make that decision for the artist. They're not going to know that. So I feel like that's a massive part of it. There, there's definitely. Defi definitely like a resurgence at the moment. And grime's never gone anywhere. But I just feel like that sound is definitely something that we want to hear again. Yeah. Are, you, are you getting calls from some of those artists now to, to get back in the studio? Um, yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Are you working with anyone you can tell us about? I, I don't like to say it until the tune comes out. Right. Yeah. Because I've I've stung myself in the past by doing that. Yeah. Kido, as an MC during that time, it was mad competitive. I know it's competitive now, but I remember that time was competitive. What was it like being an MC during that early era? It was tough, man. You had to you had to be on some stuff like back then. I mean, there was like so many MCs, like so many MCs from from all around, like South, East, North, do you know what I mean? So you had to be on top of your game, man. You had to do stuff to stand out, and you just had to be, yeah, you had to be on point. In your opinion, where does South rate? Because you're from South, like, you're affiliated to Essentials. Yeah. Where, where did that crew, and where does South rate in regards to that early era, the Channel U era? Um, I think Channel U era, yeah. South, we, we had a strong team, so <laughs> like, we had a lot going on, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's only right I say it. What's going on, people? It's myself.